Woo, woo, what a day um, in college football. Big time day all around the country. Uh, we're going to get to it right after we talk about Virginia Tech. I watched this whole game. It was masterful. It was glorious. It was out in the rain. Brent Pry, Chris Marv, Dax Holyfield. Dax today had eight tackles, one sack. I'll tell you, Boston College on third down. One, Boston College only got 155 yards in the game. They rushed tonight um, like 26 times for like 15 yards. It was insane. Insane. They averaged, no, they rushed it like maybe 15 times for 29 yards. They they averaged 0.3 yards a carry. Um, so Virginia Tech just played unbelievable. Uh, the field goal kicker made a 47-yarder. Grant Wells didn't really throw interceptions. Now King, the running back, got a little bit banged up. Um, but, hey, they got this kid, um, uh, number four, who's a, who's a player, um, who's a uh, transfer, um, super senior guy from a and really contributed on the offensive side of the ball. But Brent and this team, they just play so much defense, and um, and it's tremendous. They they play unbelievable defensive football, and um, I love this this Virginia Tech team. I really do. It's it's so much fun to watch. I love what Brent is building in uh, in Blacksburg. I love the style of play. My only my only concern is like the offensive line. Like I know that Joe Rudolph, you know, likes you know straight line ISO and right up the gut. I wish that they would do a little bit of outside zone, kind of give their running back some more space to operate, um, you know, with like outside zone. Uh, maybe they can c- continue to build towards that. Um, but Bowen was fine tonight, you know, called a decent game, and um, Grant made enough plays. But the defense, when the defense plays like that, and Jerkovic is absolutely destroyed, intentional groundings, he's hit all night long. Um, it was a master per, masterful performance um, by Virginia Tech tonight um, in Blacksburg. It was one of the great games that Virginia Tech has played um, in a while. And now they got West Virginia. You get Miami on the schedule. You have won this week against an opponent like Hampton that you should win. And... Um, and Lane Stadium was absolutely rocking, and it's going to be rocking um, in several weeks. And that West Virginia game is looking like a winnable game, um, but that's really Virginia Tech football is what it was tonight. It was ground and pound football. It was a defensive effort, all eleven hats to the ball, swarming around, making plays, and that is kind of what football is all about. That's what West Virginia football is all about, or excuse me, Virginia Tech football is all about, and Chris Marv, and I just love everybody on the staff, man. I really do. This is such a fun team to pull for. Blacksburg is, you know, I really want to go back to, to Blacksburg. I've only been there one time during the summer. I want to go to a game at Lane Stadium for sure and uh, just really respect the culture. And um, it was arguing with a friend, and uh, he was saying, ah, Virginia Tech lost to Old Dominion. They're not very good. You know, Boston College is going to beat them. They're going to win five games. And I'm like, no, no, they're fine. In the ACC, they're going to win a ton of games, seven or eight wins, and um, I think they're on their way. And that was just such a beatdown of Boston College. That was just freaking fantastic.